Hi, this is Nathan from Digital Resonance. I thought I'd do a short series of tutorials where we, uh, where we make a tune together, give us a chance to demonstrate what you can do with our, uh, with our sample packs and our presets, and give beginners a chance to see what they can do with their iPad. So um, I thought we'd make the, we'd make a drum and bass track, and we'd start off by making a, making a short break in uh, Beatmaker. We'll uh, quickly program the the breaking beat maker and then export it into ARIA for further processing. We fatten it up a little bit, make it sound a little bit better and a little bit more like drum and bass. <clears throat> so I thought we'd start the tutorial by simply Me programming a break, <clears throat> and I'll just show you the sounds that I've used. I loaded up one drum machine in Beatmaker, loaded up two kicks, nothing special, a couple of snares, quite quite bright snares, and uh, and five hats. So. In drum machine number two, I loaded up the famous aiming brake. It's always a handy brake to use. It can um, achieve quite a lot, quite a lot with it. Anyway, for this tutorial, we're just going to make a really short break, get it ready for processing in ARIA, and um, I'll show you how you can do that. So, I'll start by actually playing you the brake. It's a little bit dull on the screen. I'll try and sort that out as we go on in other tutorials. I'm actually using my iPhone 4 at the moment, so it's not that great. I couldn't get the reflection app working properly, and I don't own Apple TV, so this will have to do for the moment, I'm afraid. <coughs> Anyway, I'll play the first bar. So, there you just got the two kicks and the two snare drums. Very simple pattern. And then the hats on their own sound like this. Now, because the hats are all, are all slightly different, that's why they got that little groove to them. Now, I'm going to go into that into more detail in another tutorial about how to sort your hats and how to get them to shake along and all the rest of it but for now just keep this brief and leave it there so now I'll play the full four bar loop but, so it's not too bad as you can hear at the moment and now I'll play the album And what we can do after we've processed this in ARIA, we'll bring it back in here and then we'll make a proper beat with it. We'll, uh, we'll layer over other hats and other kicks and uh, we'll start to achieve um, a proper beat. But for now, to record it, we need to be able to export those different sounds individually. So I need to create a few effects buses. I think three do. And then send the two kick drums to effects bus one. And 
and the snare is to a fix bus number two, and the hats to number three. And what that's done, I created three effects buses, and now the kicks will be coming out of this one, the snare's out of that one, and the hat's out of that one. And the aiming's still coming out of its own one there, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, this is done so I can export the two kicks, the two snares, and, and all the hats together back into ARIA and then processed it as stems and then back into into here. Just EQ the aim and break because it's got a little bit too much bottom end in those hats. It's quite a dirty sample, it does need a lot of cleaning, but I'll just let EQ it like that for now. Perhaps add a little bit of compression as well. Sounds a bit dull, a bit flat. That's not too bad. And like I said, not going into too much detail because this is literally just a break that's going to get processed elsewhere and then pulled back in. So that's probably it for that now. Well, what we can do is actually, I think it'd be a good idea to put some hats in as we don't have any hats that are shaking along as well shaker in fact not really hats. Um I'll create another drum machine for that. Empty preset. Now I'm gonna browse to the biohazard pack. And I'll look for drum hits. Hats and symbols. I think we've got tambourine. Yeah, we'll use the tambourine to start with. Oops. Now to leave like that would sound awful so what we need to do is give these different velocities so they've got a little bit of a groove. Now the very first one I'm going to turn right down so you barely hear it at all. The second one, I'll let that come in very slightly. And the third one louder still. I think I'll just repeat that pattern there for a minute. Just 
to extend that out a bit. that it's got but it still does sound a little bit static bit. so what I'll do again to edit these a little bit more Give him a little bit more round in this whole side chain as well. It's got a little bit of a shaker going on. We'll export that separately as well. Uh, we'll definitely be side chaining that a little bit more in Aria. And I'll probably have to layer that up with a few other shakers doing a similar thing as well, I would imagine. But for now, that, that's not too bad. Now, just for the sake of it, I'll load up a preset from one of our sample, uh, pre I mean preset packs, and we'll just play along. I think we'll leave it there for part one and um, I'll see you in part two.